Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be doing another Erin Talks video, podcast, whatever you're listening this, to this on. Um, and feel free to keep me on while you're coloring or cleaning or doing whatever you're doing right now. And feel free to, free to just listen or feel free to watch. Totally up to you. Um, but today is officially... The first day of spring, um, which is so exciting. It is still a little bit chilly out, especially where I am, but it's exciting because that means winter is officially over, hopefully. Um, but yeah, basically today we are just going to be talking about how to refresh your life for the uh, season of spring. And I even included um, in the description box a printable that I made over on Canva, um, that is a spring refresh checklist. This is what it looks like. And um, mine's double-sided because I'm going to be filling out my own checklist. And basically in that PDF that I attached in the description box, there is the filled out version um, that gives some like ideas. And then the second page, you can do it like I did and double-side it is blank so you can put in your own ideas of what you want to do for each of these categories and essentially I've figured out five different categories or five different areas of your life that you can refresh for the season of spring and without further ado let's just get into it start talking about it and yeah so the first kind of box or category on this list is atmosphere so atmosphere meaning, you know, like your room, your space, your house, your living space, stuff like that. So my first suggestion that I have is getting yourself some new fresh flowers, whatever your favorite is. Reminder for those that have cats or dogs that tulips are very um, just toxic for them. So recommend uh, just kind of do some research on the type of um, flowers that can be around pets. But if you don't have any pets like cats or dogs, feel free to get yourself some tulips or something or just any fresh flowers in general. Flowers to me just scream spring. So getting some fresh flowers in your space or in your house is always really nice. Deep cleaning. Spring cleaning is always on people's minds whenever spring comes around. I will be Hopefully doing like a spring cleaning vlog with you guys. If not, it'll probably happen when eventually I get my own space because I still do live with other people. So I don't want to like show off too much stuff. But maybe we'll do like a spring refresh in my room, but I don't really need it. I was actually today going through and I was like, I already kind of did a refresh during the winter time. I don't really need to get rid of too, too many stuff. Um... I just have a lot of hobby stuff that I just need to get done um, that is just kind of sitting around. So there's that. Um, but just in general, just kind of make a list of everything you want to deep clean. I still, for the household anyway, since I'm here most of the time at, at home, I do plan on cleaning up the house a bit, a bit and refreshing it. For example, the hallway leading from my room to the stairs needs a little bit of work. Um, our kitchen area definitely needs some work to clean out the fridge. Cleaning out the fridge is also just a deep cleaning thing that you could do. Um, and again, like I said, I looked around my room and I didn't really have anything too, too, you know, much that needs to declutter. But I know that I'll definitely be, you know, just kind of um, just, you know, the next part, which is cleaning the windows. I'll be, you know, windexing them and making sure that they smell good and look good because they've been just kind of sitting there for all of winter. So uh, be sure to also clean your windows as part of your deep cleaning if you'd like. But I'm just putting that as a separate thing because I feel like cleaning the windows could be like a whole day thing and you can like clean the outside of the windows too if you'd like. So that's always an idea. And then also for atmosphere, adding more bright or pastel colors. I always think that just all the colors of the rainbow, just any bright colors, I'm just looking around my room, just bright colors in general, just incorporating them more into your, you know, life is going to really kind of refresh your life for the spring season. 
My next little category is goal setting. So uh, basically you take out your journals, your planners, your to-do lists, whatever. Um, my first thing here is to create some new habits, whether that's getting back into journaling, going for a walk, making sure that you're doing some yoga. Just kind of think about some habits, some new habits you can incorporate, even if it's just one, um, and incorporate it into your schedule. Review your goals. So whatever goals that you set out for the year or recent goals that you had, just kind of review them and see if, you, if there's any refreshing that needs to be done based on your life currently. Refreshing your routines. So like your morning routine, night routine, et cetera. Uh, just like, you know, it's getting light out later. So maybe if you want to, um, before, maybe you had a walk in the morning because it was way too dark when you came home from work, but now it's lighter out. So maybe you could like go for a walk later in the day or whatever. Um, just kind of refreshing your routines to kind of, you know, go with the warmer weather, the, you know, the just new season in general. Uh, simplify your schedule also is very good to do during this time of year. It gets to be busy. You know, we just had St. Patrick's Day. Now we're going to have Easter soon. And then there's going to be, you know, just other holidays and things coming up. So be sure to simplify your schedule as much as possible because things are going to start to be more social, I feel like. And then the next box or category um, on this list is physical. So this is your physical look of yourself and your body. So one suggestion I have is to get a haircut. I did that last month. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I used to have hair that went down to like my chest area and now it's all the way up here. Uh, getting a haircut is just so refreshing, just a brand new look. And, um, and I think that it's a great idea to kind of refresh your life a bit, a bit if you'd like to do that. Uh, get your nails done. I certainly don't do that, but I wanted to give that a idea to anyone else that, you know, does their nails or maybe do them from home or go to see somebody. Next, we have take out your spring uh, clothes. So just take out anything, you know, put away those sweaters, but maybe keep one just in case, but uh, put away those sweaters, most of your long sleeves and take out your short sleeve shirts, your dresses, your, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we have try a new makeup look. So maybe try a different, maybe incorporate the pastel and bright colors into your makeup routine, or maybe have a more cleaner look with your makeup. Just kind of uh, look up some inspiration for that. Highly recommend Pinterest for that. Um, upgrade your skincare routine. So maybe you need to get some new products. Maybe you ran out of your products from the winter time. So getting some new lotion and new uh, skin cleansers and stuff such like that. Um, and then schedule appointments, meaning schedule your physical for the year if you haven't already. Schedule your dentist appointment. Think, schedule all those things that you kind of for me, I could definitely attest to this, procrastinated during the winter time to finally to get those things done now during the springtime. So that's always a good idea. The next little category or box on this list is to get outside. Um, definitely getting outside, especially during this type of year, time of year, excuse me, is very beneficial, not only for your physical health, but your mental health as well. So some suggestions I have to refresh your outside, whether it's your backyard or your little front yard, whatever you have, um, go for nature walks or just go for walks in general. Me and my dogs have been doing a, a walking challenge all of March already. So we've been walking about two miles a day and that's been really nice to actually do. I really, really enjoy it. I enjoy going on the walk. Sometimes my dogs can be a little bit much, especially if there's another dog near us or something. But honestly, it just gets me outside, gets them out of the house and gets us moving. And I just really enjoy waking up and knowing I'm going to go for a walk with my dogs, you know, um, start gardening. Um, maybe it's starting to be gardening season for a lot of people. So definitely get your flowers planted, your uh, get some seeds going, you know, all that kind of stuff. Host a spring picnic maybe in your backyard uh, by sprucing up your backyard patio or whatever you have and making sure that you're 
lawn looks good before that, which is my next point of getting yard work done. Um, whether that's getting rid of leaves that were left over from the fall time into the winter or, you know, um, mowing the lawn if need be or, you know, just any sort of yard work stuff that just needs to get done, just get it done. Uh, set up a sitting area outside for you to enjoy, to like read or do coloring at or something. I will definitely be making a little area for myself outside for coloring and art stuff, especially or just my creative hobbies. Um, I definitely have a table already that I could easily use, but set up a little sitting area for yourself outside. And I am also a smoker, so definitely will be using that space as well too also smoke. And clean up garage if you have a garage. Um, it's a perfect time to do it or a shed. Whatever you have, just kind of clean it up. Um, it probably got a little messy or stagnant over the winter time. Just kind of clean it up, get it looking nice and fresh, and it'll look super nice. And then the last but definitely not least category in this list is mental health. Mental health is especially so important because you know, we just had the winter time, we were stuck inside all the time, doing in indoor stuff, whatever. Now is the time to really kind of focus on your mental health, especially like any other time. So, for example, refreshing your journal, maybe making a new spread to have those bright and pastel colors to get you excited to journal for the spring, or uh, maybe you need a new journal to start off with the new season, anything like that. Sorry, my my uh, thing was falling down, my uh, bandana. Um, do more creative activities. So, for example, chalk art is something that I love to do during the warm weather time. Coloring, um, doodling of any sort, um, creating bracelets. Um, you could even do diamond art painting. There's so many creative activities to do crocheting so much. So just try to do more creative activities, especially doing them outside. I feel like will be super nice to do. Open up windows and shades. As you can see behind me, I definitely have been opening up my windows. Um, I typically had them closed during the winter time, but now that it's spring, I'm like, I really just want it to be open. Um, like it's kind of chilly outside, so I don't have them all the way open. I just have like my, um, whatchamacallit, my my like shades open and such. So, um, and then we have get back into yoga. So basically with this, uh, just kind of get back into some sort of movement, meditation even, uh, to kind of really get in sync with your body. And lastly, make social plans. You know, everyone's been kind of hibernating in this winter time. And I think that it's a good idea to kind of make some you know, social plans, get out and do stuff like, you know, going for a hike with a friend or going to a nature spot or just even hosting that picnic. Um, anything sociable is just super, you know, nice for your mental health. So that's going to be my short little Erin Talks video of how to refresh your life for spring. If you would like to get this printable, the link will be in the description box down below. Again, there's a filled out version and a blank version for you to fill out if you would like to. I will definitely be filling out the blank side for myself. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye everyone.